Hello, people. I am Jabby Kawai, joined by Achara Kirk. What's up? We're looking at exams ka mausam. Maus, mausam. Mausam. It sounds like I'm speaking Chinese or something. Yeah. Like, like Mandarin. Mausam. Sir, 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 mausam. That's me making up Mandarin. I got a funny feeling. So, exams call Mao Sum. Ashish Chanchalani, this is from Ashish Chanchalani Vines. Thank you, Ashish Chanchalani, for allowing us to react to this. Respond to my text messages, please. And uh, so, we're going to take a look at this. Here we go. Group study ka naam is not Group study is not a thing. We Chapter 1. Kye? Chapter 1 is a thing. We are going to चैप्टर <laughs> 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 Fine. Trigonometric equations. I love his friend on the left. Yeah. What is he making fun of here? Is it is this like the study groups, but then there's always one person who's like the leader. Oh. I disagree about that. And the exam starts now. What the hell? 
आज तेरा भी जूस निकलेगा रे सप्लीमेंट ले 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 अपने जिंदगी का आखिरी सप्लीमेंट चुस्की कुछ तो लिख आखिरी दस मिनट बचे एग्जाम के सर सप्लीमेंट Little hope to go on it. <laughs> अरे 
teacher like that. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I'm getting flashbacks. <laughs> This really makes wow. me wonder about the uh, real life counterpart uh, that all you guys go through, and it also serves as a reminder of how glad I am I'm not in school anymore. Yeah, right. Because the pressures of school is just not fun. Yeah. You know, it and it didn't matter like where you are, if you're like a C student, a B, A student. It's always pressure, you know, no matter what. But that feeling, I'm just, I'm so glad to be free of it. I just. Never liked it, you know. I know it's and it's like it's even worse when you do a lot of the science and maths based classes because you have to memorize so much. I know I had to memorize a lot in my psychology exam as well because you had to memorize all of the case studies plus the dates. The dates were killer, but I was very lucky because I took a lot of arts based classes, right. so you didn't really have to remember as many like formulas or numbers and dates and whatnot. But yeah, that was rough. That last one, when he was that super strict and very aggressive teacher, it reminded me of my French teacher actually. It only happened once, but there was one time where I was taking a quiz in class. I don't know why, maybe because he just, he felt like I was, I guess the class topper in that situation. And so he would come up behind me and like look at what I was writing. And I think I conjugated the verb incorrectly and he just went. Jesus Christ. And I was like, Ooh. and then another time my friend Karan said something stupid and he had a toilet roll that he used to keep at his desk, but it wasn't like a small toilet roll. It was like one of those jumbo Why? ones. Why would he do that? You know, just in case you need a tissue. And then he like threw it at him. 
Why not have a tissue box? Because, you know, he was ghetto. I don't know. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> he just like threw this massive tissue at Karan's head. Karan was like, what the hell? Well, well, the other thing that I this reminded me about is in the live streams, I hear from you guys who are saying that you're studying 11 hours a day. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how you all are doing that. I don't think it's healthy to be studying 11 hours straight a day. And I've said that as well. I'm like, I feel like it would be who of you guys to take breaks, you know, every hour or so every half hour take like a five or yeah. every hour take a 10 minute walk something like that just to get the blood flowing because a, a movement actually helps your brain yeah in order for you to think better and process information also lets you absorb the information you just read and but sitting there for 11 hours is not good for your body i don't think it's good for your mind it's not just good it's not good for the soul mm -hmm. and someone you know responded saying well it's so competitive that we feel like we need to do that i'm like yeah i get that but I don't think it's helping you to get a competitive edge. I feel like it's actually making things worse. Everyone's just like flustered and it's just not good for your bodily organs. It's, you know, it's not a good situation. For those of you that watch this and go, oh, yeah, like that, that's my life right there. And in addition to that, you're studying 11 hours. I would really examine the benefits of that because it may pay in dividends to just take a break every hour for like 10 minutes. No stimulation whatsoever. Maybe yeah. meditate for 10 minutes. It's just something to clear your head of what you're absorbing. Well, I think the thing is, it's better to keep studying throughout the year and really retain the information rather than trying to cram. But honestly, as a student, who does that? Most people are well, you get a, like- You'll have a competitive edge if you do. I mean, yes, that, that is the ideal thing to do, but most people don't do that. And I'm sure it's also because there's so much pressure to like complete all your assignments and all of your homework and stuff like that. And so, you know, you're not gonna spend the time to just keep studying throughout the year. You're gonna take that like one month before the exam or like a week before the exam and just try and cram everything what in. What is the benefit of like overloading students with all of this data? How much of that do you even end up using in life? Not like, a lot. And, and so it depends on your profession, I suppose. I just feel bad for students. And I watch this and I go, I feel even worse for students. Yeah. I mean, obviously this is an exaggeration. The first one with the teacher actually the felt very familiar <laughs> where I look around and I'm like, you know, they're cheating. Why isn't why isn't my teacher saying anything? That, why is I, why am I the one who's looked at with such a magnifying glass under a microscope when I decide to like do something, you know, slightly skeevy, <laughs> you know? Because you were a naughty boy. Yeah, I was, apparently. <laughs> I remember there was this one instance when I was in middle school where something had happened. I forgot exactly what, but like there was this kid behind me named Patrick and I, I kept bugging him. I don't know what I did, but I was like pestering him. He's like, I wanna, I'm trying to focus. He didn't say focus, he was a little kid, but there was something about him wanting to focus on, on the schoolwork. But there was words exchanged. No one knew what happened, but you know, it was noise. And so the teacher was like, you guys cut it out. And Patrick was like, it's Anthony. And, it, and then Javi's like, no, it's Patrick. And so the teacher goes, okay, we'll take a vote. Everyone, take out a piece of paper. Oh my God. And you, you have to write down who you think was the problem. And there was like 40 students in the class. 39 students wrote my name. <laughs> One student wrote Patrick, it was me. <laughs> like, why is it me? I forgot what I was bothering him about. It wasn't anything bad. Well, everyone knew it was you because they saw it happen. No, they just assumed it was me. Oh. Uh, yeah, because like I was, I don't know. I was I was kind of like an outcast in middle school, in, in Catholic school rather. I hated Catholic school. I didn't start becoming popular until I was a grown up. <laughs> Life's a trip, man. For those of you who are like in high school or middle school and watching this, if you happen to be watching this, just know that what you're going through now does not have anything to do with the rest of your life. You got your whole freaking life ahead of you. It's gonna be completely different when you get out of school. Just trust me, it's not the same. Being a grown up is completely different. I mean, in a way, it's like high school goes on forever because there's yeah. always a popularity contest, but where you rank in that is totally different from when you were in school. Like, yeah, I'll just leave it at that for now, I guess. Mm -hmm. I feel like I could go on and on about that and just how stupid the, the I guess the classism of school is, like the, the popularity contest of school and how it feels so important when you're there and yeah. then none of it matters later on in life. And you're like, why did I even, Yeah, it you don't so realize trivial. it while you're in the middle of it though. Yeah. I wanna say though that the, the first little skit that he did about the group studying, that was not my experience with group studying at all. I had a very positive experience because it actually helped me to study the content better, like to study the syllabus, because I could talk to my friends who understood things better than I did and be like, all right, 
<sighs> Explain to me RNA transcription, please, because like, I don't get it. Whereas this one was pretty bloody awful because <laughs> it just seemed like Ashish's character was just trying to sabotage his friends. Yeah, it's pretty mean. That was so bad. Uh, the one where Ashish Chanchalani was playing the guy who was like super brilliant and had like, the, is it the Ganesha hands or the Shiva hands? Oh yeah. Which god is it? I, I'm not sure. Okay, I assumed it was I like. Think, I think Ganesha has some extra hands and Shiva might have extra hands too. I assumed it had something to do with an Indian god. Forgive me if my if I'm being ignorant there, but like he was like so, yeah. a, a, like just amazing. He was just going through the exam with multiple hands, right? Yeah. And there was the guy off to the side who was just kind of watching him baffled at the sight that he forgot about his own exam. That sort of thing would happen to me with like tests where everyone just scribbling away on tests and yep. I'm just like, what, I don't even, and I'm just, I'm looking around at people leaving their desks to turn in their paper. I'm like, I'm not even halfway through this. <laughs> You know, and I'm well, panicking. I think the thing is, like, even if someone asks for the supplement paper, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're gonna do better than you. You might have just been able to answer the question more concisely, whereas they're, like, blathering on for, like, 10 pages, and it's not necessary. But it does stress you out. Right. Well, anyway, this was fun. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I'm sure you have, but if you haven't already, subscribe to Ashish's channel. There's a link in the description below to the original video. And from there, hit that subscribe button hit uh, upvote on the original video. Thanks so much for hanging out with us and check out Achara Kirk on the social media as well as the jabs if you feel like doing that. Instagram, Twitter, and check out our other reactions, reviews, short films, vlogs, and interviews. I am Jabby Kuwait. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.